And if you imagine that the world commits itself to an endless competition based on the dominance of whoever is uh, superior at the moment, then a breakdown of the order is inevitable. And the consequences of a breakdown would be catastrophic. The first time that America has experienced this is whether it is possible to deal with a country of comparable magnitude and maybe in some respects marginally ahead. And if we don't get to an understanding with China on that point, then we will be in a pre-World War I type situation in Europe in which there are perennial conflicts that get solved on an immediate basis, but one of them gets out of control at some point, and also understands, which in American philosophy is not common, that international problems basically don't have final solutions and that every solution opens the door to another set of problems. It's not that China is determined to achieve a world domination what, in which they are trying to develop the maximum capabilities of which their society, in which their society is able. The Chinese, in my opinion, tend to believe that if their performance is majestic and the scale of their efforts is great, that a mythical respect will develop on the basis of which they can achieve growing influence.